Hello, this is an update on a 1.5 liter per second air powered air purifier. It's based on a model that used uh, air mattress pump, but I found those were way too loud. So it takes in uh, air through filters that are from a Roomba. Any HEPA filter would work and I attach those to a jar, which is then attached to a motor. I'll show that in a sec. Okay, a hole is cut into a lid of a jar. It's the same lid that, of the jar that I attached the filters onto. And then I attach that to a hose. This case is just to keep the pump stable so that if this gets pulled, it doesn't damage or pull it away from the pump. I use the silicone clock. If you don't have a 3D printer, it's not a bad go-to. And then it connects to this hood, which is $22. I found that if I just have the hose going into the mask here, the hood presses against the opening, keeps air from coming through. So I actually have the hood, um, or I have the hose going into the mask so that it actually sits on top of my head when I wear the mask. And this towel is just for comfort. Though initially I thought of it for trying to help muffle sound when I was using the air mattress pump. Right now the noise that you hear is from the air conditioning unit in my apartment. Um, this is pretty low volume. I'd say it's less than 40, 40 decibels. I also found that you can just use one of these vacuum filters. They're about, give you an idea, it's about 30 by 100 millimeters and it's folded to a depth of maybe about a little bit less than 10 centimeter, 10 millimeters. So about a centimeter thick. Um, so I guess the total area would be interesting. I didn't calculate that. That would be for another video. Mainly I wanted to show you the setup. Um, it's 20 plus about 10, so that's 30 plus 10 for the hose, 40. And then the power unit, I already had this, but this one would be really expensive but for less than $30, you could get a USB power pack and a 12 or five volt to 12 volt converter for the USB for about seven or $8. So all, to, all in all, it's including the glue for $6. It's, um, and the filters were about $1.50 each. So I have $6 worth of filters, but I found you can make it with just one. So I'll call the filters and the glue $10, $20, $40, and then 30, another 30 for the power supply. So let's do the math again. Um, 10 for filter and glue, 20, adding 10 for the hose, then 50 with the hood, so we're looking at about 70 to 80 dollars once you add a power supply if you don't don't already have one that's mainly all there is to the build